Hey there everybody, welcome back to this very spooky place. This is Spiraling Helix playing Paper Mario Color Splash, but this time it should be Luigi, not Mario, but problems and arise. There's ghosts, guys. That's basically it. This hotel is stuck in a time loop. Let's get back into solving why by hunting down more ghostly toads. Ha ha, it's mine, it's all mine. Um, that's probably the creepiest thing I've seen so far, just saying. Huh? What was that noise just now? Hmm, seems like this is another hint that if you hammer here... No, it's gone! He stole it! Um, dude, guess I can't help with him. So it seems that each of these paranormal toads, these ghostly visions, all seem to have their own problems. Maybe that's the cause of this paranormal activities. Anyway, though, I know we have some things ready to do on floor three, but I'd like to speak to this toad over here. And I think... No. Dang it. Okay. Well, it seems like he's on the phone. I didn't quite hear it, but the clock did, did strike 12. If you hurry on up the moment you hear the clock striking, hurry on up to room 301. Maybe we can catch the paranormal toad who is on the phone. So long as you don't get in that battle, I think that might ruin it. <laughs> hmm. Well, we do have a floating phone here, so let's check it out. Hello? Hello? Can't you hear me? Why don't you answer? Fine. Whatever. The service in this hotel stinks. My bed sheets are all wrinkly and it's creased, so I keep calling the front desk to have them change. But they never seem to answer. It's like they can't even hear my voice. Makes me want to tear this whole room up again just to get some service. Well, if we happened to come here just as he was finishing the phone call, we could actually see him trash the room. He's going to give it a bad... <laughs> That's great. And you can frequently see the cleaning manager actually run all the way up here. However, if he cleans the room before you can get in there, you're too late. And sometimes he stops you from entering the room. It's quite annoying. It's the only timing based one. So make sure you're ready. I'm actually so thankful I heard that the first time. Now all he wants is some clean linens from down here. But first of all, I want to head outside. I feel like there's something new here. As I head over here. Sorry for the delay, boys. I got caught and had to take a leap off the balcony. But don't worry, I have... Is. Ooh, so this is it, huh? Uh, amazing! Whoa, so it really exists? I I never seen nothing like it before. Mario, where did you come from? Don't tell me you're after it too. Hold it! Leave this to me, fellas. You got a lot of guts coming here by yourself, Mario. I like your style. You and me, mano a mano. Let's go! Call this a mini boss if you will. We have the Shady Sledge Bro, similar to the Sumo Brothers from Super Mario Bros 3. So I think I'm going to use some big cards and take care of him relatively quickly. He jumps on you, he creates shockwaves. I believe he can also throw his hammer. Jeez, he actually has a lot of health, but this should still kill him now that I 
successfully pulled off the hop slipper. Yes, indeed. We will see more of them much later in the game though, but he's actually a pretty tough enemy for the first time coming round. So this is how it ends. If only I could have sat on it just once. <laughs> Boss! RUN FOR YOUR LIVES! You got it! Um... Okay? Sure. Well, I'm not quite sure what it is, but we have it. Cool? Anyway, though, as I said, that enemy can be quite tough, but if you have lots of money, thanks to Rochambeau, if you take a look in the bottom right hand side of the screen, you don't really need to worry about buying strong battle cards. So I took liberty and didn't want my money maxed out. Anyway, now that we have access to linens, how about we get some fresh linens for that messy room? I didn't quite want this much to come with my linens, but how about I just dispose of you guys very quickly with a single spiny. I got a do-do. I got a do nothing here. Actually, I think I might have to block if I hit the back wall. I blocked and I knew it would hit the back wall and I failed anyway. We ironed your sheets f for you, sir. Oh no! I didn't mean to kill you. I mean, I guess if they're part of the hotel staff. Who cares though? We got fresh sheets! Or linen, as I said, and the toad in the house. In the house? In the topmost floor said. Anyway, let's head on up to the third floor and solve these paranormal activities. As we make one last round trip, 303 first of all. Now, although I didn't really make a point of it because I didn't want to reveal a coin yet, this cage is a bit bare, so let's paint it. My beautiful red bird has flown the coop. Ah, you fixed my bird cage. Thanks ever so much. Perhaps my red bird will come back home now. If you see my red bird around, please try to get it back in this cage. You got bird cage. Um, okay. Well, there was a toad down outside looking for a red bird, so maybe he'll help us with that. But, here you go sir, your fresh sheets. Yeah, yeah, I got them. Cool it, we brought you some fresh sheets. Really? Well hurry up and change them before I have to have a chat with your manager. Um, don't, now change them for the fresh ones. Don't, don't you know who I am? I'm Mario, I'm not, I don't go around changing bed sheets. Although I guess in this case, yeah, why not? It's it's a full paint star, presumably. Ah, so smooth, so soft. Thanks a bunch for the sheets. All I wanted was to slide around on them for a minute. I would tip you, but you took forever. Later. I guess for a uh, being made out of paper. A ghostly being made out of paper at that. You would feel even the slightest wrinkle in bed sheets. I don't personally, but hey, shortcut to the second floor. <laughs> Doing it with style. I did, yes. No, no. Woo. Here we go, now I believe you lost a little something, an it, so, no, it's gone, he stole us. We got 
is back for you. Is. Just is. Ah, yes, this is it. Thank you. Oh, but look at the time. I'm going to be late for my tea party. You know what, guys? I can't help it. I have to know what this is. Is? And you know what we do with invisible things? We paint them. Well, okay then, but we gotta see Yoshi! We gotta see Yoshi! That was so cool! Yoshi! I don't... I don't know. It sounded way better. There's a reason why they put paid professionals to do voice acting. But hey, we saw Yoshi! It was cool! And it ran away! Oh my goodness, it ran away. What have I done? I have perpetually set this hotel in an endless loop of time! Okay, not quite. You, you can go ahead, I believe it is safe to do that. Although something different might happen like in the credits or something if you don't. Anyway though, not a single red bird has shown up. Must have been a rumor. If you're trying to catch a bird, maybe this will help. Give him the bird cage? Bahaha, <laughs> give me a break. Like any bird is going to willingly fly into a bird cage. <laughs> it's a Cooper Paratrooper! Gah! Okay, I had to close that text box quickly. You got caged bird. Guess there aren't any red birds around after all. And I don't really fancy dealing with any more Cooper Paratroopers, so I'm gonna find a new hobby. Hold on a minute. Does this mean that the Koopas are... Okay, I know Mario Odyssey has birds in them. But does this mean that Koopa paratroopers are considered birds? What? Anyway, let's just return the bird. And then I believe we're almost done. My beautiful red bird, yes, yes, we have it here. Is this the bird you mentioned? Again, bird? Ah, yes, my beautiful red bird. Thank you. I'm afraid I've got an appointment for tea, so I really must be going. Um. I ain't no stinking boyd. Oh my goodness, I can't do accents, but that is hilarious. Hey, you flew into the cage. I don't know what your issue is. Anyway, the paranormal activity is still going on. I believe there is only one paranormal toad left to investigate. And we've left him unpainted for quite a long time. Over here. Down by the book room, the library. The silent phone calls from room 301 finally stopped. I got so used to them that it's kind of creepy that they've stopped. What would be creepier? Having ghosts in a hotel or having them disappear? Yes, every time the clock strikes, this room is also recessed, but that is the wrong side. But! Ah! Where did that book go? I've been tearing this place apart trying to find it. For some reason this book here is way heavier than the others and I can't seem to move it. Say, so is this the book you're looking for? Tea recipe book? I didn't actually know what the book was until then. Yeah! This is the book! Thanks so much! Now that I have my book, the meeting should go great. I'd better get to work. Well, I think with that, that's all the paranormal activity, but... The clock struck two or one. I don't know how time works. But it seems the time has continued on as normal. And the manager has also disappeared. 
My manager went to deal with the customer complaint or something, but he hasn't come out yet. Hmm. Well, the creepy music is still here, but... Well, let's see what's going on. I'm glad you're here, Mario. These guests rented this room for a tea party, but their teapot has gone missing. Could you ask at the front desk if they've seen it around? It has a purple floral pattern on it. Well, let's see what they have to say. Where is our teapot? What is the meaning of this? Hurry, we need the teapot with purple flowers. What's the hold up? We can't have a tea party without a teapot. I need my tea. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I left that one till the end. But anyway, I don't think I've seen a teapot around. Let's see what the front desk has to say. Huh? A teapot? With purple flowers on it? I feel like I've seen one recently. Hold on. Nope, sorry. We don't have a purple flower teapot here. But I'm pretty sure I saw one in Plum Park. That's the garden behind the hotel. Sorry I couldn't be of much help, but hopefully this mini paint star will raise your spirits. Wow, consider our spirits raised. We've solved the paranormal puzzle of Dark Blue Inn. Now let's get that mini paint star, Mario. Sure thing. Such an interesting mystery that we have gone through together, folks. But with it somewhat solved, we can now move on because course clear, we have got the mini paint star and there's only one in this level. So, you know, we might have to come back, but no promises. Anyway, though, that still does lead us on to Plum Park. And I'm sure we will investigate that for the teapot, because I gotta do everything. So, with that, guys and gals, next time, everybody, we are gonna venture through Plum Park, collect two mini paint stars, possibly? I don't know. Find a floral teapot and other things. With this, with that, uh, with things, ghosts and all that, spooky stuff. This has been Spiraling Helix, I'll see you guys next time everybody, Bye bye